Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden, yes, not the lost. Let's get put myself in the right mode here. Um, Satanic Bible, Ball of Bandages, seems like terrible stats and a little bit of a dangerous, uh, Curse of the Labyrinth, but luckily we're not starting with Red Hearts anyway. If that is lucky, actually, it seems like our damage is better, but our rate of fire is kind of poor. E8EEMXPX, yes I know, MXPX is a band, um, I don't... I don't know anything that they've done, so I can't make a clever joke, and if I had known that maybe, you know, 13 years later I could have made a joke, and then people would have been, haha, what a delicious bon mot, then perhaps I would have, uh, been excited about this seed, but unfortunately I don't know, but now I'm a little bit excited about it because we got Ball of Bandages, uh, combined with Nod Leaf, which is not necessarily the most exciting combination. Is this two health upgrades? You're too good to me, game. That one's a little terrible, but, uh, yeah, we have kind of like Unicorn Stump, but the enemies come to us right now. I, I sort of dig it. Uh, all we need to do is wait for them to crash into us like they're big fans of the Dave Matthews Band. And there we go. Okay, this is going to be... I'm just going to prepare you. I'm going to take a lot of damage on this floor, probably on this run. Because I'm going to be walking into enemies trying to get... Uh, ball of bandages to hit them before or as nod leaf is like activating uh, And that's not always gonna work out. But we do have satanic Bible to buff us up We just picked up two health upgrades right off the bat and in a weird way We are sort of unkillable like on this room I could stand still and wait for all these enemies to locomote into us. It would take approximately three or four adult lifetimes uh, And I'm not talking about adult mayflies. I'm talking about adult sea tortoises but, we can do that if we have to. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Joker card is not necessary on this floor, of course. Uh, but if we have the opportunity to use it on the next floor, that would be awesome. Or even if we don't have the opportunity to use it on the next floor, we just use it later in our lives and that's actually substantially better. It's a delicate balance here, because I want to use Ball of Bandages to kill enemies, because it really compensates for our terrible DPS. Like, it kills enemies so much faster. It takes us three shots. Relatively slow firing shots to kill uh, even the, the smallest of spiders here. But, at the same time, I also need to... Yeah, that's exactly what I figured would happen from time to time. I also need to put myself in a situation where the enemies can actually touch us, and not every enemy is going to be good at that. A lot of the enemies that we face on these floors just kind of, like, handle their own business and never walk into us. So it's going to be frustrating for a while here. Um, I'm trying to think about bosses. Pin will eat shit, basically. We'll just stand in the middle and he'll jump into us all the time. Widow, exactly the same. Duke of Flies, we can probably stand still. Bombs, please. Um, trying to think of enemies, it's probably easier to think of enemies we can't stand still against. Like Larry Jr. we could destroy easily. I think we go for the Tinted Rocks before the Direct Spirit Hearts. This one ended up turning out fantastically, uh, but I would expect maybe one Spirit Heart for Tinted Rock, but I also really want the opportunity to get uh, Small Rock. I think that's more important than just raw HP at this point. Now the Haunt is, on paper, a little bit tricky, but I think I've got a little bit of a trick of my own to figure this out. We'll just stand here, and we'll freeze, and then he'll pretty much just hang out here because we've kind of pinned him and ourselves into the wall, and that was a super easy boss fight there. Toothpicks is a big help, and let's see what we've got in our second room. It's pinned, so we'll stand in the middle. And we did, thankfully, turn into stone at, like, just the right moment there. Perfect timing on that one. This is one of the very few situations in which Pin is actually harder to kill than the Haunt. Um, admittedly, at this point, considering I've got a, a pretty good track record against Pin, I might just want to fire bullets at him instead. But, I kind of wanted to show that I, that I could do this the weird way. It was more of a proof of concept than anything else, and I lost a spirit heart in the process out of sheer laziness. It's alright, it happens. HP, pretty important, and Mom's Knife, we will absolutely take it. And honestly, let's explore the rest of the floor. You know, an XL floor is already faster, but we might as well see if we can get some bombs out of it as well. Yes, I took Mom's Knife, and I, I don't feel bad about it in the least. Our rate of fire was so, so bad. I know that this is maybe a suboptimal play, but actually, now that I look at it, I think it was... Super optimal might not be the right word, but it was... it was doable. Can we get the... Tinted Rock? We should be able to, right? Yeah, there's one right there. 
We're up to seven cents, and uh, at this point, I'm like, do we do we go to the shop, buy a bomb, and then uh, use it on the tinted rock? And of course, I narrated that as we were doing it, so obviously the answer is yes. Well, okay, problem solved then. Uh, we're at a ton of HP and Mom's Knife. We will win this run, especially con considering we have Satanic Bible as well. Um, I don't know what I'm doing over here. I guess it's just for curiosity's sake. We did not get anything, which is not a surprise. Let's uh, head down to the next floor. A little tempted to use the Joker card right away, but you never know. Maybe we'll pick up the Goat Head and we can use it on the Cathedral or something like that. Um, we're not really in the market, honestly, to save... Half of a spirit heart by teleporting out the Joker card is worth a lot more than that. And I can kind of sit back and relax on this one. This is like potentially Balls of Steel worthy. Although you never would have done a Balls of Steel run with your first item room being Nod Leaf because that's just going to slow you down. However, uh, with what we have right now, I think we can put down a pretty good time. I'm not obsessed with, with getting good times. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid to upload a, an 80 or 90 minute long Rebirth episode, of you, as you guys have seen, but when the, the mood strikes, you know, when you have the, the right confluence, the perfect storm of, uh, well, what, what, the perfect storm is just the storm of, it's a storm made up of smaller storms, right? When you have a confluence of items that allows you to have the opportunity to go fast, I like to embrace that a little bit. No point in, you know, just mindlessly bashing through rooms and rooms of enemies that we don't have to kill when we're already 100% positive that we're going to win the run. In my opinion, at least, but not everybody feels the same way. Makes me excited for Afterbirth, knowing that there will be a little bit more, at least for a while, a little bit more impetus to do stuff like that, to try to find new items and unlocks and room combinations to learn the patterns of and stuff like that. There were 26 cents on this room. We traded one bomb for 26 freaking cents. That is... Almost unbelievable. It's only 14 cents shy of the maximum that we could have gotten there. And the maximum that we could have gotten there, you got to consider that like a like a 1 in 300 or something like that chance. I don't even know what the chance is, but we've never seen it, so it's got to be up there. At least I feel like we've never seen it. I hate bonies. Um, Mom's Knife. Kind of like the anti-Blue Baby's Only Friend, where you can separate yourself from the, the enemy line of sight. We, uh, unfortunately... Have to stick exactly in the enemy line of sight. I'm not too worried about losing that HP. Able is just a, a, a crap item for us right now, but could be worse. Could be, uh, you know, could always be Curse of the Blind Soy Milk. Although, whether or not that's worse is uh, debatable, because at least it would be a little bit interesting. We're at 42 cents. Careful. 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 Not so careful. We can be a little audacious here. Alright, come on. Deal with the devil right away. Not super concerned about a Gertie fight because we have Mom's Knife, basically. I mean, every concern that I normally have about Gertie on the third floor, mainly it's tanky, is completely negated by every single one of our items. You know, we have uh, Nod Leaf, so we can just stand right next to Gertie and then use Ball of Bandages to do a lot of damage. And then, of course, on top of that, we have uh, Mom's Knife, which means that we don't need to worry about it to begin with. We'll take one Tears Down pill with us, just in case we get PhD, and uh, that was a very disappointing lack of Deal with the Devil, followed by a Deal with the Devil that didn't give us anything, a Deal with the Devil that lacked, so uh, unfortunate. And now we're just bringing to mind um, that awful Vancouver Canucks trade to the Carolina Hurricanes. Eddie! Eddie, come back! I'm just messing with you. Mostly because, like, 2% of people watching this are going to resonate with what I'm talking about, so... I think, honestly, although this floor ended up being a little bit milk toast, if I will, that's one of those words that, in French, it looks so uh, highbrow. Milk toast. It's like, oh, that's, I know exactly what that means. But when you say it with, like, a, a heavily anglicized accent, like I have, it's a, what the fuck is milk toast? I ain't never heard of no milk toast. It sounds gross. Is that one of those Euro pine things? I don't know what that voice is. That's actually a very gallant, um, you know, graduate of a Southern Charm School. I did not mean to imply ignorance uh, or willful ignorance on the part of the the character that I have just uh, characterized. There, my apologies. I just like saying Europine because so something about it carries a little bit of extra gallantry. But that time, I just wanted to say gallantry. So I'm I'm not my own asshole here. Uh, I don't know why. For some reason, I thought that was another health upgrade. I guess indirectly, it sort of was. 
In the meantime, we'll move along here. Not really concerned at all about what I can eat on this run. More luck would be nice. I'd like more luck. The reasoning for that? More chests on the chest, which, you know, we have an extremely good chance to do well on, I think. That's golden poop. Uh, and I will go to our curse room. Two golden poops in the same room. We've also gotten so many, uh, like, really, really big financial drops so far. I don't know what's causing it. We're at 62 cents. Is our, like... Our luck stat looks like it's one, so I don't know if this is just like the absolute luckiest run of all time. Like, we're, we're rolling consistent like 20s or something like that, but I'm happy with it either way. Might as well go hard on this one. Now, we our deal with the devil from the last floor shouldn't count because we use the joker cards. We should have like a 75% chance to get one on this floor, um, barring the pickup of other items. Obviously, Goathead changes that to 100. Or, um... What's the other uh, one I was thinking of? Like Pentagram or Black Candle, they would up it by not a flat 30, but like 30 times 0.75 as well. So like, you know, a 26 or something percent uh, flat increase, which is pretty good. Not tw 23, sorry, my mistake. Um, do we want to donate money? Maybe that's like the big thing for us on this floor. Or on this run, even. If we could donate enough money to get our donation machine back in a, a decent position. I haven't really done a great job of... Uh, of managing the, the donation machine interest. There's another dime in there. This is ridiculous. Uh, I don't really want red candle to be honest with you. Just wedge yourself back here. I will pay for BOGO bombs. I might as well buy a key at this point, I feel. Let's just head on. I don't want red candle. I'm fine with satanic bible. Um, yeah, real shame that our donation machine only took, what, like 20 cents? But at this point, I'm used to it. That's the donation machine. It's finicky. It's mercurial. It's Venusian. We need to come up with more. I know that this is like a, a remnant of Latin or Greek. I'm not sure which one, and I apologize for not knowing. But if you're, if you're a real stickler for that sort of thing, I have a feeling that apology is not going to go that far. But hopefully you can understand that I never studied Latin. But anyway, we got Mercurial. That's a good one. That's an adjective for Mercury. It's uh, or based on Mercury is its root word. It means like mysterious, unpredictable. We've got Venusian. I feel like Venusian is like, you know, sensual. Sexy, lustful. This is a pretty good deal with the devil, by the way. Then we got Earth... D terrestrial? Terrestrial? That's an Earth word. Martian? There's a Mars word. Where do we go from there? Jupitorial? Is there... Maybe I'm actually making myself look more ignorant, and there is a word for Jupiter. But I want Uranus to have an adjective, and I know that that's... That's an easy joke to make, and I'm not super proud of it, but I'm super proud of it. I want to... We could just call it Urano. That's so perfect. It'll be like, you know, planet uh, Theta Epsilon uh, Z31 has a very urinal look to it. I know it sounds like urinal, but we don't say urinal in, in North America. We say urinal. You know, the the thing that you you, you take a pee in. Um, I, I Pluto, Plutonium? I don't know. I'm just working on it. NASA, you guys... I know you, like, worked with the European Space Agency and landed that, uh, you know, probe on, on that spinning comet. That's pretty impressive. Now you probably got nothing to do. So maybe, like, get to work with uh, Merriam-Webster on getting uranal into the, the dictionary. And it would be... It, it's not dirty. It just sounds dirty. It was like 12 bombs in one room or something. Um, it just sounds dirty. Um, it, it means of a Uranus-like quality. Okay, well... You know, you're going to have to come up with some way to finesse that a little bit better than I've been doing it so far. Now, the reason I talk about that stuff is because I am 8 years old, but also, this run is is unremarkable in all the right ways. You know, we haven't gotten shit items, we've actually gotten great items, but it's so great that there's, like, all the tension has been sucked out of this run. I don't, like, there's nothing I could possibly be afraid of. Can we do boss rush? Absolutely. You know, we're already like four minutes ahead of boss rush, and I haven't really been rushing, at least uh, on Dooley. Um, you know, we have great items from our, our deals with the devil. I can take damage and still be in a defensively great position because we have Satanic Bible. Like, really, there's just nothing at all slowing us down on this run. So, this one is looking like it's going to be in the books pretty easily. Mom's bottle of pills gave us explosive diarrhea. And... We might as well take Mom's Purse, and we might as well take Blue Map. I don't think we need anything else. 
And now we can at least see where our secret rooms are. And it's the worst mapping item, I think, but... I mean, the worst passive mapping item, at least. But it allows us to uh, take a guess as to where our boss room is going to be. And, of course, it allows us to just see where our secret room is. Oh, I hate this room. I would... Yep, 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 yep. I would rather almost, like, lose a black card just to kill all the enemies here. But this might be the last one. I think we got one there. There's, like... There's, like, a turret or something over there. Yeah, whatever. Just knock them all out. I don't care. Waste of my time. I think this is our secret room access. And... Oh, I was a little bit off. I was actually kind of way off, but we made it work. Okay, now... Golden chests, I guess, is what I want. Like, we don't really need the HP. We certainly don't need the money, but we'll do it. And I will hold on to the moon card. Old habits die hard, right? Like, if we can get into our boss rush and, and take an item for free, why not? I actually don't see an honest answer to that question, and my silence should tell you that I was searching for one, I guess. Like, there are still some people who think that stealing an item from boss rush is, like, abusing game mechanics or something like that. As far as I know, it's it's completely competitively acceptable. It puts you at a disadvantage uh, because you're rushing. Uh, but it's it's actually a good trade-off. I really like the, the boss rush mechanic for that kind of like trade-off between uh, speed and strategy. It incentivizes playing quickly, but honestly, I guess Rebirth probably, with the release of Afterbirth, won't need that because of the, uh, the daily challenge mechanic. Which is going to make people, or probably incentivize at least, playing quickly. Which I'm sure a lot of people are not going to be big fans of. Uh, sure. Let's take Magic Mushroom. And I will take Ghost Baby. The reason I'm going to take Ghost Baby is just because we're going to be at full HP anyway. We might as well be at full HP with Invincibility and take Ghost Baby with us. It's fine by me. Now, on this floor, uh, we, have the, we have the right curse. If we're going to have a curse, this is not the wrong curse, at least, for a... Uh, a boss rush floor. I will do this because I would really like to get, uh, if not Tammy's head, like something like Bob's brain. Even we can we can support Bob's brain here. A lot of consumables. We're about a minute and a half ahead of boss rush anyway. There we go. Yeah, be careful what you wish for, right? You want a Bob's brain? Here you go, motherfucker. I got a stock of like a thousand unused Bob's brains. If you are interested in picking them up and ruining your run, here they are. So the way I feel about the troll engine is maybe Bob's brain is just so unwanted that they throw it in with every pack. It's like, you know, basic lands in Magic the Gathering or something like that. Um I mean, we have like on we have so many different ways of dealing damage. Let's not forget we have Nod Leaf on this run. So if things truly go south as a result of that short-sighted Bob's brain pickup, um we could just stand still on every single room and not have to worry about it. I was worried about that one, though. Um, we don't have Guppy's Tail, but we're getting a lot of golden chests. It would be nice to pick up maybe a Nun's Habit or something like that. Just something to minimize. You know, when I take damage, it also gives us the chance to get more damage back in the future. Goathead here is, is fine, but it probably only gives us two deals with the Devil. And we have not fought Krampus yet, so we'd expect probably one of those to... To be a, a Krampus fight. Why use Book of Secrets? I mean, why not use Book of Secrets? Using it has no penalty associated with it. Could have looked for Dry Baby in one of those, uh... One of those skulls, but... I don't really, you know, think that it's worth our time, to be honest with you. I do want to get the, the get to the shop, but if we find our boss fight at this point... Might as well take it. If we find our boss fight at this point, I would probably just go for it, because, uh... I, with Curse of the Lost, I'm always wary that I'm going to lose myself in the music the moment that I wanted. You better never let it go. I, I find that song, like, a little bit disingenuous. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. That's like, oh, thank you. That's like some serious peer pressure from, from Eminem there. Sometimes you get many shots. Uh, you know, that's like, you know, hey, Timmy, want to smoke some aluminum foil with me? You'd be like... No, not really. Maybe next time. And he's like, there is no next time. Remember what Eminem said? You only miss, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. You're missing your chance to blow right now, Timmy. All the cool kids are going to be smoking aluminum foil next year. I'm not saying Eminem supports smoking, uh, you know, household consumables. I'm just saying. You could, you could pervert the words that way. Death's Touch is a really big one for us here. 
We're still only 17 minutes into this run. Ah, ha, ha. Um, they're all pretty bad, but E. coli with Nod Leaf, maybe? And Invincibility, actually, that's the big one. Invinci- what? <laughs> Where am I? Um, the Invincibility... From, uh... From the Polaroid will allow us to walk into enemies after we get hit. And then, uh... They will die unless they have a health bar, in which case they will take no damage at all. But then they'll take damage from the knife anyway. So, I, I don't know, man. That's basically where I'm getting at with this. I didn't realize that I explored so little of this floor. I went to the item room. The boss room. There was an arcade available. I'm more surprised that my brain pattern did not remember, like, where to go. Like, it was inconsistent. I thought I, like, always went left or something like that, or always went right, but apparently not. Either way, it gives us a good chance to, uh, get back to full HP. Not that that's strictly necessary or anything like that, given our current situation, but... You know, why not? Plus, maybe we'll actually be able to find the shop now. We could also blow up these bad boys and maybe get the teleport card or something. There's Dry Baby right there! Alright, I'm glad that I... Took the little extra time, even if I didn't intend to take the little extra time. And we'll just keep moving it along here. Oh, Pride Fights. Uh, got a card and a card, two of spades. Two of spades means we have three keys now. Pretty much no matter how we slice it. There's a secret room. I thought it was like left and down, but... Okay, this room. We fought like the weird butthole enemies. They were quite urinal. And, okay, we came down here, and then there was the curse room, then we go down, and then it was, like, left. And not immediately, of course, that would be f foolish. Um, but we go, like, down, left, and this, oh, what? I don't remember anything about this floor. Is Ghost Man dead? Ghost Man is dead, we got a Joker card. Um, I think it beats two of spades. Because we can use it on the cathedral to... Oh my god, it's our shop. We can use it on the cathedral to get another deal with the devil. This is why I was not going to make an extra trip to go to our... Uh, to go to our shop if I found the boss room first. Because I don't trust myself to be able to make my way back here. But still, a great floor. I mean, there's no question about it. We got some really good stuff there. Now, Utero 1, Curse of the Lost again. Let's just hope we've chosen the right direction. Death's Touch, the big one there. Uh... And I guess, you know, I have to say thank you as well to Goathead, without which I may not have gotten Death's Touch. Or maybe I would have, you know, that's the other option. Or maybe I would have quantum tunneled through, uh, through my chair and ended up, you know, suspended in the wall or something like that, or in an alternate dimension. A Donnie Darko-esque, you know, Boeing 737 engine could have fallen through my roof and, and killed me. I guess there's more possibilities than I'm, than I'm currently entertaining. I'm just saying, within the realm of conceivable... Plausibility. This is pretty much where we're where we're at here. Uh, can't really afford to do this. You know what? I think I did pick up Guppy's tail, and I'm stupid. Otherwise, there's no excuse for the amount of golden chests that we're getting. Was it? I think I just picked it up. It was one of those like three rooms where I got Guppy's tail, like three deal with the devil rooms, I should say, where I got Guppy's tail. It was like, well, that's not the most important item for us here, so I'm just gonna erase it from my memory. Easy enough. Still, you know, like, there's room for us to grow in terms of our damage right now. The number of nickels, dimes, and, and just, like, incredible golden poops we've gotten on this run is really surprising. Like, I, I'm i actually l wondering if we're an extreme outlier right now, or if we've got some item working behind the scenes that actually buffs that in a way that I've never heard of before. I don't know. We've gotten, like, at least over 99 cents dropped on this run. And that's a fairly conservative estimate, I think. And that's way more than, than we'd expect on average. You know what? I'm going to take Tammy's head. It's pretty terrible with Mom's knife. Uh, but let's let's try to make it work. You know, we don't need Satanic Bible anymore. And this is my commitment to Tammy's head. I'm going to try to make it a good item even when it's bad. I'll be there for you. These five words I swear to you. When I breathe, I wanna be the air for you. I'll be there for you. Tammy's head. I know we have mom's purse, but I don't really care about getting it with counterfeit penny. Um, 
Why, yes, I did quote the song from the 2005 much maligned uh, Amanda Pete Ashton Kutcher rom com all about love that nobody saw except for me. It's not a very good movie, honestly, all things considered. It's one of those ones, you know, when you're in like 10th grade, you watch it on the, the movie channel, you got nothing else to do during your summer vacation. Alright, so, uh, the. The, uh, Turdy Touch does work for us here. Where are we going? That's a, yes, I did quote the much maligned Dave Matthews Band song from the 2002 smash hit Adam Sandler comedy, Mr. Deeds. Where are you going, Mr. Deeds, played by Adam Sandler? You're on a path to meet Winona Ryder. It was her comeback role after she got diagnosed with kleptomania and stole that, uh, I think she stole like a purse or something even though she was a millionaire. Um, that, that, that was the subtext. Most of that was subtext. Well, I don't really want a missing poster either, to be honest with you. I'm happy with Godhoof, you know, I can, I can wait to fill the other slot here. If you want to give me, like, even the tick or something, it doesn't bother me. Oh, Lord, we finally found it. And Loki does not stand a chance to survive here, obviously. I might take the HP, honestly. Uh, I guess now I will not. <laughs> Originally I was into it. Now I, I don't really care because I think the invincibility is more important, but I thought we'd maybe get a chance to trade it on the deal with the devil, but now I realize if we had not taken it prior to the deal with the devil, we wouldn't have been able to go in anyway, or we wouldn't have been able to pay for it with the red heart anyway, so it's kind of a catch-22 there. But I think we made the right decision, um, even if not mathematically, we made the right decision situationally there. Bloody penny. I mean, it does nothing for us, but maybe we get Dark Bum? Might as well give it a shot. And with the compass, we can now see where we're going. So, you know, we do have mapping. We just haven't really had a good opportunity to use it, because ever since we picked it up, we've had Curse of the Freaking Lost. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, we can't really afford to take as much damage as I have been taking here. This is, you know, babysitting Bob's brain, uh, just getting it out of there. Sending it off to college. Somebody said, you know, babysitting Bab's, Bab's brain? Babysitting Bob's brain is admirable, but a real man would raise it. All right, you know, good, that's a good point. I'm, I'm just babysitting it. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing the fatherly thing. I'm there for it when I need it, when it needs me, but really, you know... I, uh, I'm, I'm doing a shit job, I'll admit. You know, I could be better. I'm gonna treat you like my own Bob's brain. I do, I, I praise you like I should at every opportunity, Fatboy Slim. Maybe I should get rid of that name. That one's a little bit offensive to my newfound son. This is not the right way. Man, Tammy's had mom's knife. How much better would this be? Maybe it's an intentional nerf, which is actually kind of cool, but how much better would it be if it just, like, uh, you know, had not the knife's hitbox? It had, like, Death's Touch hitbox here. Because we have Death's Touch. And then it, uh, you know, did the amount of damage that you would expect it to do if we didn't have Mom's Knife. It would hit everything and kill everything, and life would be but a dream. Instead, it hits nothing, and even things it does hit, it doesn't kill. Often, at least. That time worked. Uh, let's just fight Mom's Heart. I'm ready. Ah, uh, that's okay. The turrets are dead. Now it should be uh, our time to shine. We've already done like 40% damage, and now we've already done 90% damage, and now it's dead. Now, we have to be very careful with this upcoming deal with the devil. Because, well, we have Curse of the Blind, and I can't afford to take shit items. Uh, that's good. That's good. I'll take one. That was just awful. That was just terrible. I don't think I can take the other one, to be honest with you. It might be great. I mean, it's probably greater. But I really can't afford to go with it. And people, I know they're gonna... You're missing the point, okay? If you're if you're saying this right now, I just want you to know that you're missing the point. You are correct, but that, that's not the only thing that matters, you know? Sometimes your teacher is gonna make spelling mistakes on the, on the blackboard or the whiteboard. Um, you know, everybody knows the teacher made the, the spelling mistakes. You don't get extra credit for correcting them, all right? Sometimes you just gotta learn to be cool. You know, let people make their own mistakes in the in the name of fun. One more in the name of fun. Anyway. Um, if we lose this run, which is, it's, it's a possibility. People are gonna be like, whoa, should've stuck with Satanic Bible. Look, winning this run with Satanic Bible is not uh, an accomplishment. That's just... That's just what is done with Satanic Bible. Um, 
That's pretty good. Uh, I, I hope that we don't find ourselves in a position where we lose this run. But if we do, I'll still feel good about it knowing that we could have so easily won. Like, with Satanic Bible, it's a joke. Instead, I chose to mix it up a little bit and, and take a, a suboptimal decision intentionally. Which I know, you know, people will be like, yeah, it's intentional. You lost intentionally. No, but I put myself in a, in a non-100% winning scenario intentionally in the interest of, of enjoyment. But I think we're still going to come out of this one with a win. A few lucky Tinted Rocks, uh, you know, half-decent chest items, a good tarot card, any, any of these things can start to turn us around. Man, I really hope that was not Dark Bum in the, uh, in the item room. If that was Dark Bum and I left it there, I'm going to feel a little salty. I've been skipping curse rooms uh, lately just because I, I had a feeling we might be in for this kind of thing in the future. Bit of a bit of a tougher road, and that's the way it's looked so far. Got very lucky there to get both of the bomb flies killed early. All right, this is an important moment for us. We're lucky Mom's knife can hit from far away. I don't know why that sounded like it was the start of a poem or something like that. Ah, oh, that's pretty bad, but if we only get hit once, I can be okay with it. But it is going to make our life a lot harder. Every, every single time we get hit lowers our chances of success by like an appreciable amount here, but... That's alright. One hit against Isaac, that's not terrible. But, we might have screwed ourselves, and I feel pretty dumb about it. Okay, the chest. Oh, that's pretty big. Triple shot, halo, telepathy for dummies, cursed eye. Uh, I'll take it all, and that includes telepathy for dummies. Now, as good as the item might be from uh, the explosion here, I don't think we need Child's Heart. But as good as the item might be from the explosion here, I think I gotta play it till I get some Spirit Hearts. You know, we've got a decent luck stat. I think we've had one luck upgrade pill. If it explodes without giving us uh, any more Spirit Hearts, that's fine. You know, I think we gotta give it a try here. Okay, when we get down to 30 cents, I'm gonna blow it up for the item, because I'm getting suspicious here. Ah, oh, there we go. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. That's a much better item than Telepathy for Dummies for us. Alrighty, now we begin, we begin anew here, and I've already lost 1 HP, not very smart, but Book of Shadows, substantially better, I think, than even the Crystal Ball. Let's come in here. We will not use Book of Shadows on this room, because I really should not be taking damage. We'll save it for a room with, like, double adversary, double cage. And did we get carried on the chest? Yeah, probably a little bit. I don't even want that right now, honestly. But let's remember, we can always stand still and just use Nod Leaf, but I don't think we're going to need to. I, I really don't. Like some keys, though. I mean, look at Oh, my lord. Not even going to use Book of Shadows because I just want to prove that we had it even without Book of Shadows. You know what? I'm going to use Book of Shadows because I'm not that dumb. Some of the time. All right. We won that run. I mean, that's not a surprise. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.